Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a Pro Standard tutorial on this type of card layout. We are just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the codes, and I apologize if you can hear any background noise, but for the first one, you are just going to copy and paste the first code in the pasty bin into the very top of the bed, and you are welcome to change the color here. I recommend putting um, an 80 at the bottom just to make it, or at the end of the hex code, to make it transparent, but you can also change the degree of transparency or if you don't want it transparent at all, and then you can change what it says on the left right here. And then similarly for the second one, you are again just going to copy and paste the second code from the pasty bin into the second in bed, which is in this container with a border around it. You can change the colors again. Right now it's just this gray color and then a white color for it. This one is a gradient, again with the 80 at the um, end of the hex code. Similarly for the buttons, you are just going to copy and paste into the embed you have made. And then if you want to make more buttons, you will just take this, this is one button, and then copy and paste it wherever you want to add another button. Similarly, if you want less sections, you would just delete this whole entire thing. And then these are the sections it goes to, so just make sure they are labeled correctly in your dashboard. And if you want to change what they say, of course, the titles are here, so you're welcome to mess around with that. Thank you. 
I'm gonna explain some things. It is the big chunk at the very bottom of the pasty bin. So since this is pro standard, pretty much everything is customizable within the card dashboard itself. You don't have to do a lot of things in the embed. But first we have the scroll bar, which takes up a big portion of the code and then the two fonts, you're welcome to change that. As well as the box shadow that is um, around all of the containers and then the border that is around all of the images. And these are the title texts, so they just have a different font than the rest of the texts. And these are all of the info texts. So the only things you may want to change are the heights of some of the scroll texts, if you want more or less info, and depending on your image size, if, image size, if you want to add more or less images, things like that. But that is pretty much it for this layout. Alrighty, and here's what your final result should look like. As usual, if you need any help, have any questions, please feel free to let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,